Okay guys, today we're working on 2010 Honda CRV. The customer complain, no AC. So, let's start. See, before we turn the AC on, I have the little thing here, put on the vet. See, right now, the temperature is uh, about like uh, 75 degrees outside. Yeah, let's put it right there, keep an eye on it, and then see it cool down or nothing. So let's start the engine. Yeah, the engine run right now, so we have to turn on the fan. Yeah, about that level or put an AC mask. Yeah, keep an eye on this. As you can see, right now AC indicator on, AC mask on, and the fan on, of course. Like uh, already half a minute, but still stay there. And summer time, no AC, you problem. Okay, let's turn the back up. Okay. What's uh? I usually do on checking for the AC issue, so first thing I have to start the engine without the AC on. Go under the hood. Let's see. We have a uh, we have the. Uh, And right now the engine running all right and then we to look for the radiator fan condenser fan right there yeah it's no working right now stop right that means when the engine run the key on the fan to stay off like a should. all right and we'll go back inside the car we know that when the engine run without the AC on, the condenser fan stop. So now we turn the AC on. So back there, look for the condenser fan again. See, as you can see on the label, yeah, now the fan is working. What that mean? That means when the AC on, the radiate, uh, the condenser fan on, that means we have the relay control for the AC compression. So, now, seems like the electronic control module control the AC system is working uh, and The AC compressor, I believe, is okay. I don't need to check it from the first step because I have the control. That means I have the AC compressor. That's why it's, uh, the pressure sensor is sending the signal to the control module and the control module I said that signal is good and control the system that's why the way the condenser fan get off so back inside the car again and then start the engine I forgot to let you guys see about the AC plug. As you can see, the AC plug down there. 
Park School. Not in good. That's a student happy too. But as you can see right there. I don't know if you guys see in the video. Nah. The AC. Not in good. Missing powers, missing ground, bath, AC plus relay, or open wire from the relay down to the AC compressor, or open plus coil. Let's check it out. Just uh, look at the AC compressor relay so this is the uh, the fun yeah as you can see the fun and then this guy as you can see this guy it's hard to, for me to see on the video uh, yeah this guy the AC um, relay AC compressor relay this is a big okay? And now, if I can find it out. Okay, the relay already came out, so I really don't need to check the relay for right now. So, with the key up, this will have one power from the low side and one ground another another slot should be ground as you can see this is the low side and this is the, the control side and again right now the key off of course the ins and out and uh, we should have on the low side we should have one slot in power and another slot it should be ground yeah as you can see I have power here a 12.8 volt it's good really and what about another slot on the low side? See, right now we got nothing, no ground, no anything on that. But that means, does mean from the slot down all the way to the compressor, we have the open wires or we have uh, open the plug coil. That's why we don't have the continuity here, we don't have the ground. So, in the case, I don't need to check for the control side. Control side with the key on, AC on. We should have power and ground to control the relay. But in this case, I don't need to check that because I know I missed the ground on the low side. That means now my direction from here, even inside this fuel box, connection all the way down to the compressor. And check for the compressor coil, check for a connector down there by the AC compressor. 
Okay guys, uh, as of the wiring diagram, so as you can see, this is uh, the AC, the AC compressor, and as you can see, this, the plus coil, and get the mountain grounded, okay, and then we have the red wire here go to uh, Janssen connector left rear of the engine compartment so this should be three pin connector as you can see red and black and black on the compressor side so black black and for the thermal protector sensor the sweet so earlier from the relay right here as you can see the AC relay the AC compressor clutch relay right, see we don't have the crowd right here we have power here with the key off because this fuel it hot at all time so I have the power here that means this fuel is okay and when I turn the AC on and as you can see we have the condenser fan on that means we have the electronic control the relay including the reason if we got low fluent pressure the module will cut off no control the relay at all don't let the compressor run so we have the condenser fan on that means this fuel I don't need to check it and I don't don't check the relay yet because I found we have no crowd here. So the question is inside this fuel box, open wire or from the connector or from the connector or open coil, plug coil. Okay, and then now we let to check it out. Keep in mind that the red wires is get the ground from the blood coil and go all the way to the relay slot wait for the computer control the relay so let's check it out underneath the car and see what we missing from there so as you can see this the male connector on the compressor side so as you on the wiring diagram as you can see this from for the thermal protector screen with two white black wires and another one up there you go to the AC clutch compressor clutch as you can see it's the red color so at the, the pin right now it's on the left I want to see if we get the ground right here on this pin that mean the compressor is still being due if no ground here we have to replace the whole compressor okay let's check it out see as you can see we don't have the ground at all from the pin that means we have the clutch coil open we have the you see on the compressor body we have the ground and we don't have continuity at all on this pin what this mean this mean the AC clutch coil is open so call the customers 
and tell them we need to replace the AC compression. One more thing is we need to check for make sure we got the open cold clutch coil problem. So as you can see up there with a little uh, green wire up there will ground for AC clutch coil. As you can see right here, you have a little wire right there. I already pin set up pin on it with a little pin right here. And it will both a little bolt uh, 8 millimeter or 10 millimeter up here. I don't need to check the connection from the bowl because I already have the pin here and uh, if I will check from my pin if we have the ground to the pin that means the bowl connection is good and then as you can see up here inside the mirror oh yeah let me set up the light as you can see it's hard to, to be hard as you can see between the AC compressor pulley and the AC body inside the mirror as you can see I don't know as you can see in the video right there the green wire and the red wire coming out from the AC clutch coil this is not the connector no way the uh, non removable until you open the pulley and take the coil out as you can see in the mirror we have to wire there so now I already set up and I check for the wire from the bowl with good connection for the green wire. Going to as you can see my power pro is set up here. And with a little pin, I guess it's on hand here. I will touch my Okay. Yeah, as you can see, right now we have the green wire, good connection with the ground. As you can see, I'm telling the ground right now, if I remove my pin, yeah, no more ground. Okay, if the camera will be off, I will move this pin to the red wire uh, on the side, coming out from the blood coil and check to see if no ground right there and then we know that the AC blood coil for sure is open so off the camera and I move the pin to the red wire as you can see in the mirror right now so the reason why I measure on the wire green wire ready and I have to measure f from this wire you see after as you can see on the wire red wires right there seem look like with the connection in it and understand the ground wire that's just for the return wire and then we have sometimes the ground go out to the pin right there but if it back the lesson inside this guy that means we don't have the powers on the to map the pin so let me check for my pin if this is the final step if I don't have the the ground from here that means we sure the coil is open so as you can see 
on my tool say nothing no ground quite right as you can see on the power tool you see no anything on here so now we know for sure we have the open blood coil okay back to the relays right now the key up and I want to check again for you guys see that and this this the low side of the relay so key up we should have power and another slot it should be ground if we have good wires good AC uh, compressor clutch coil all connected we should have power and ground in this case we have here let's see we have the ground on one slot right and another one from the coil we got nothing and with the key off engine off the AC off right now you can see on the control side of the relay we have the ground and another pin with nothing so back inside the car and check some more and let you guys see the we still have the control from the PCM first start the engine turn the AC okay now back under the hood see where the light at okay as you can see right now no AC condenser fan off why? Because the connector underneath by the uh, AC compressor is still disconnected. And let's check here. We still have power on the low side. We have no ground. On the low side, we have power with the key on. On the control side, we don't have the control here. Why? Let me go under the car put the connector back so I should be on one end and then this yeah as you can hear the fan condenser on right now with the connector put back running now that's mean let's check for the control side this should be power on one side okay we get power and on the other side of course the ground yeah but that mean I do some more for you guys see that the reason why I don't check for the relay I don't check for the AC pressure. Uh, I don't know how much right now. It's uh, in the range or a little low. But at least the AC pressure is good enough for the compressor and gauge. But in this case, we have the control here. That means we have the AC pressure, uh, the refrigerant pressure is good. I mean, I don't need to check to see it. Like, you know that sometimes the low freon is still no control here. But from here, easier. I check from here. If I have the control, I don't need to check for the pressure. Uh, for the AC pressure right now 
it lets everything back to work. If we don't got uh, cold enough, get for all the pressure enough or little low, or it hit on and right stop, hit on and right stop, hit on right stop. Sometimes due to uh, the vehicle owner, they put too much fear in it, and then it will hit on on the, the high side, too much pressure, and then the high side pressure, the, the sensor will send the signal to the, the ECM, and the ECM see that all too much pressure and it cut off right away. And then when it cut off, the compressor stop, and then the free end will, on the low side, will back down, and then it get back on and high again and it stop. Okay guys, in this video I let you guys know that how to easier step by step check for the AC uh, issue like this. And in this case, we need a new compressor. All right, uh, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.